Hey, what's going on everybody? It's JB, the Ranch Mechanic, and uh, I wanted to put out a quick video just to kind of let you guys know what's been going on and why I've dropped off the planet all summer. I haven't put out any new content in quite a while. Um, I'd like to preface this video by saying a couple of things. Um, one, I apologize that this is in portrait mode and not landscape. Um, I'm holding my phone vertically because, again, I'm recording this with my phone and it makes it a lot easier for me. Hey. What are you doing? Sorry, I got a, my new uh, partner here. Seth Saber. He's a purebred German Shepherd with a very, very high prey drive. And when I'm, we're not moving, he's very bored. <laughs> and he wants to go. He's my front seat companion in this little mule. <clears throat> anyway, a couple things. I'm holding this in uh, portrait mode instead of landscape because it's my phone. I'm holding it in my hand. It's easier for me to keep the camera steady and stable and everything that way. And two, if there's any wind noise, I apologize. I don't think there's going to be. I've managed to park myself in the middle of our stack yard, surrounded by thousands of bales of hay, just to use as a windbreak. <laughs> so I think we'll be all right. But anyway, um, so what's been going on? Well, the reason I uh, haven't put out any new content is because I did not know for about three months or so whether or not I was still going to be a mechanic at a cattle ranch. Um, back in June... Um, well, let me back up even further. About a year and a half ago, the company that my wife used to work for had a gigantic merger with another company. She was a senior manager. Um, she's a UI UX web developer, which means she's responsible for user experience and user interface, which is basically when you log onto a website, what you see and what you click on and how you interact with everything, that's her job. She's the one that irons everything out, all those details, everything that you see. She gets all the buttons and layouts and everything. That's her, her deal. So that's what she did. She'd been with her previous company for about five years, just shy of five years, four and a half years. And uh, they were talking about sending her down to Austin, Texas for a couple of weeks to have meetings and meet new people. Like, that's where their new company headquarters is going to be, I guess, after this merger. And, you know, she was basically told that her job was safe. Like a week and a half, two weeks after they were talking about taking her down to Austin, Texas, she was told that she no longer has a job. <laughs> they eliminated her position which is something that we were not expecting, and it came completely out of the blue. Um, why is that a big deal? Well, if any of you work in the IT field, you know it pays very, very well. If any of you work on a cattle ranch, you know it does not pay very, very well. <laughs> um, I mean, I do okay. On paper, I'm poor as, as dirt. But there's a lot of other benefits of working at a cattle ranch. You know, they provide my house for me. They pay for all of my utilities, my internet, I mean, every, cable, everything, satellite TV. Um, it's all paid for by the ranch. So that's a huge amount of money that I don't have to put out every month because it's taken care of as part of my <clears throat> employment here. But that being said, I also have three children. I also have a brand new truck, um, and quite a bit of debt that we're still trying to catch up on and pay off. So my wife was making about four times more money than I am. She makes a pretty good living. And this video isn't about, oh, my wife is amazing. She makes six figures a year and blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm trying to say. That's not the point. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just saying they let her go out of nowhere. And they did give her a severance package. So it's not like we were eating popcorn and cereal for, you know, three meals a day. We were doing, we're, we're, you know, we were okay. But the problem is she was a remote employee, guys. She worked at the Centennial, Colorado office when we were living in Denver for about a year and then because of our family situation, she asked her boss if she could be a remote employee. Say hi, Saber. Hey. <laughs> okay. So she asked her boss if she could be a remote employee. And they thought about it for a week or two. And they said, yeah, you know, work from home for the first little while. We want you to come in a couple times a week for meetings or whatever. And then if everything is going okay and you're maintaining your productivity... We'll consider you a remote employee from this point forward, and you won't have to come to the office. That's been our life for the last five years. That was in Colorado. We then moved to Ohio for two years. She was still a remote employee. Moved out to Nevada, the middle of nowhere. She was still a remote employee, making that kind of money, not having to be tied down to an office. That was a huge deal for us. It was a huge blessing. So for her to, A, lose her job and her income, and B, lose her ability to work as a remote employee, we had no idea what we were going to do. We were thinking about moving, you know, because you can't just walk into a company and get hired as a remote employee. That just doesn't happen. 
Um, so we didn't think that we were going to be able to stay here because we can't afford to live on just my meager salary alone. Like I said, with a wife and three kids, I don't make enough money to sustain all of that. <clears throat> so anyway, times were hard for about three and a half months. Very, 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 a lot of low moments for me personally. Um, it was just a, it was a hard time. So of course I didn't have the, the mental capacity or stamina to be recording videos and putting content out and everything like everything's normal because nothing was normal. And I've recorded this video like three or four times now, this very video. Um, and each time I go to edit it and you could see the, the negativity and the depression in my voice and my mannerisms and everything. And I didn't want to put that out for you guys. That's not what you watch this channel for. I don't want to bring you down with me. That's, that's not, that's not fair to you guys, you know? So I apologize to everybody for not putting anything out, but I, I just wasn't in the frame of mind to be able to do it. Um, and then about three weeks ago, my wife interviewed for 30, maybe even 40 different positions. And she just kept getting told no, 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 no. I mean, it was, my wife and I have been married for almost 15 years. She's the love of my life. And when you love somebody that much and you watch them get beaten down over and over and over again, it is the worst feeling in the world. It's terrible to watch them go through that because there's nothing you can do. There's nothing, you can't like, you can't call these people and be like, why didn't you hire my wife? You can't do that. It's a, a battle she had to fight. And right as we were running out of money and running out of the ability to stay here, she got a phone call from a recruiter from a company based in Washington, D.C. It's a government contractor. And their primary contract is with the Department of Veterans Affairs, the VA, which I thought was cool. I'm a veteran. My wife's grandfather was a veteran. He just passed away last night at 93 years old. Rest in peace, Cecil. We love you. Um... He was a World War II vet. Um, my grand, my grandfather was a Korea vet. So it's cool, you know, she gets to work with the VA. And the best part about it is that it pays about 20% more than the already amazing salary she was making. And it's about 99% remote. <laughs> I don't mention this on the channel very often <clears throat> because I don't want to turn it into a religious thing, but I am a man of faith. And I have spent more time praying over the last few months than I have in my entire life combined. And... I'm not going to go into details, but I mean, a lot of people could, Hey, you're okay. We'll get moving in a minute. He's very bored. Sorry. But this job was a direct verbatim answer to my prayers. And you know, you can chalk it up to coincidence if you want to, but I don't believe that's what it was. I believe the man upstairs is watching out for us. And all of those, you know, bad outcomes for the previous interviews that my wife had, weren't necessarily bad outcomes. They were just gearing her up to answer all the questions for this other company exactly the way they needed to be answered and getting her prepared for the interview that really would make the difference. And, um, it's been amazing. She's been working for him now for about three weeks. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. It's just, a, it's an absolute miracle. It's a blessing. I don't have to move. I don't have to uproot my children and yank them across the country again. Um, we didn't know what we were going to do, and turns out we didn't have to do anything. We just had to wait. And uh, right as the, the rope was getting real short, we got a lifeline thrown to us. So anyway, that's where I've been. That's what's been going on. I apologize to all the new subscribers that have, you know, watched my videos and subscribed over the last few months and then nothing. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, it's just been a very tough time. Um, and again, this isn't a woe, woe is me video. It's just an update for all of you who've been so patient. You know, I really do appreciate your patience and your subscription to the channel and you watching my videos. It does, you know, it does make a big difference to me. Yeah. Unfortunately, all the projects that I had planned for the summer did not happen because we didn't know if we were going to be staying here. And now that um, we do know that we're staying here, the summer is over. We're well into fall. Temperatures are dropping and now the days are going to get short. So it might be a little bit until I can actually put out content on a regular basis, but I'm working on it. I do have a couple of little projects that I've been kind of filming here and there, so I'm going to try to get some of those wrapped up, edited, and put out. There's been a few things that I did months and months ago that I just haven't put out yet. Um, again, I just didn't have the mental stamina to do it. But anyway, things are good now. Everything is squared away. We're, we're all set. We're, we're not going anywhere. We're staying. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience, guys. There will be more to come. That I can promise you. So until that time, you take care of yourselves. Have a great week. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.